thing, we'll kind of see how it sounds. And what I've noticed is when guys change magazines, that's a good, like, uh, staple for what the uh, regular shit sounds like as you're shooting suppressed. So I'm just going to do a few magazine changes while we're shooting, and you can hear how it sounds. So, ready, set it, spaghetti. All right. Not bad so far. I mean, it's it's quiet, but anyway, you'll start hearing the magazine changes. Okay. Just keep keeps going. Hear that sound? So far so good. Ooh, almost almost thought I was out of mags. No. Reaching deep now. Ooh, did I hit you with one? Use it for the sound. Maybe hit you again. P.S. This is, uh, you know, all Farrell's Lead Farm 147 grade subsonic ammo. Neat to see it's hitting the tripod leg there. Maybe we'll, for you Chicagoans. Okay. Last but not least. Yeah. So, anyway. I mean, who doesn't like a good Beretta? Gee, a communist, probably. Yeah, I'm here to tell you. Thing just works, but yep. I put witness light, witness lines on here and stayed the same through all those magazine changes, which there's a fair amount of them here, just so you know we're not, like, editing. <laughs> oh, who's a nerd? I'm a nerd. This thing is, uh, yeah, it's good to go. 3D printed titanium. I don't know what else to tell you. It did not come with a fixed barrel spacer, so I had to use one off of a silencer co suppressor, but it takes the same Bravo mounts as the rest of them, so no hill for a climber. I would buy with confidence wherever you find them. Hopefully from your local dealer, hopefully from a dealer that doesn't use a silencer shop kiosk, has their own fingerprint scanner. And that is the best advice I can give you. That is all. Carry on.